Well, you know, we've looked at cancer now for 40 years, and unfortunately, we've made wrong assumptions. We thought cancer was a single clone that drove us to chemotherapy with what we call maximum, close to maximum tolerated dose, the idea we would kill this clone. And in essence, what we then engaged in was equivalent to chemical warfare where we would carpet bomb and hope that we didn't have enough collateral damage. And because it's not a single clone, it's multiple clones, we in a funny way induce micrometastasis and cause the cells to go to some other places. So in a funny way, we actually self-selected the resistant cells and allowed them to go elsewhere. And then you'd have metastasis. Then we'd take another recipe, just a trial and error empiric recipe, do it again, induce toxicity, push the patient into the hospital sometimes, and then say it's incurable. And then we end up with hospice. And it's sad to think that some of our own actions based on um, assumptions that were made with knowledge that we didn't have. So we can't blame anybody. We just didn't have this knowledge that cancer is a multiclonal disease. So losing the war was one element. And then we said, OK, we're going to now move to the next thing because chemo is too toxic. So we discovered these things called monoclonal antibodies, which we were able to target with monoclonal antibodies. The problem in order to really target the antibody, like a Herceptin or Rituxan or Cetuximab, you need to actually know you have a target. And the way we tested this is with immunohistochemistry, which uses an antibody to target. But these antibodies themselves are inaccurate. So now we have an inaccurate diagnosis. Then we said, well, we'll go to a gene panel. The trouble is a 328 gene panel just measures the DNA and not the protein downstream. And we made internally the assumption that a positive DNA would result in a positive protein and therefore something we could target. It turns out that's not the case. It turns out you can have a positive DNA and nothing to target because there's no protein expression downstream. Frighteningly, it even turns out that you can have a negative DNA and lots to target because the RNA downstream is positive. So, which means that we need to expand, expand beyond just the DNA but into the RNA, into the protein and the protein network. And that's the GPS cancer test which we've now developed. So we've lost the war because we thought this was a single clone giving high-dose chemotherapy. We lost the war because we thought we had targeted therapy, but we were targeting by guesswork. Um, and now the opportunity to just take all this new knowledge by saying we can now understand really what's going on inside the cancer cell at the DNA level, at the protein level, at the receptor level, and quantify that and really engaged in what I call hand-to-hand -hand combat at the immune system level. And I think that's where we're at now uh, at, at the tumor microenvironment, um, and we have a shot at it.